Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode we've got the final game of our Europa League group stage campaign. We've also got a game against a newly promoted Blackburn Rovers. So following on from the last time we met, we went away from home against Crystal Palace and won 3-0. Jean-Pierre, Esposito and Dodo with the goals. We then faced uh, West Ham in the League Cup fourth round and managed to win this one again 3-0 away from home. Jean-Pierre with a double and Alexander Isaac with the goals this time. Next up was a 2-0 home win against Brentford on Jean and Alexander Isaac getting the goals. We're doing pretty well in the league to be fair. We then returned our Europa League action against Krasnodar this time and won 4-1 at home. Jean-Pierre, Haaland, Pellegrini and Ender Stevens with the goals. We then went away from home against Everton and pretty fortuitously got a 4-1 win. They were definitely probably the better side against us but we still managed to get the three points and a convincing win. Haaland with a goal, Jean-Pierre with two and Renato Sanchez with one. We then suffered defeat in the Europa League away from home against Rangers. Jean-Pierre had put us in front inside six minutes but they equalised through Joe Arebo and then ended up getting two more goals in the second half to secure the win. We did dominate the match but... It just wasn't a B. Back to the Premier League this time. Away from home against Brighton. We managed to win 1-0. An own goal. The only goal of the game. It was a pretty poor game to be honest. And finally another defeat this time at home against Arsenal. Guendouzi and Alberto were the goals for them. Jean-Pierre got a late consolation. But Luca Pellegrini was the one who caused us all getting sent off in the 41st minute at 0-0. And we just couldn't, com we couldn't compete with 10 men. So after all that, we are sitting third in the Premier League after 14 games, 31 points on the board, 10 wins, 1 draw and 3 defeats. We've been playing absolutely superbly, um, particularly in the league. Jean-Pierre has been an absolute revelation playing in that attack midfield role. Um, but I'm really pleased with how things are going. We're only 7 points behind Liverpool who are top of the table, undefeated, 12 wins and 2 draws. They have started incredibly, incredibly well. But the main team I'm keeping an eye on is Tottenham. In 7th position on 23 points. We're 8 points ahead of them. If we are to finish in the top 6. Of course we'll get Europa League football at the very least. And that's what we're aiming for this season. The Europa League group has got a little more complicated. After that defeat against Rangers. We do still sit top on 10 points after 5 games. Well, of course we've got our final game today. Against um, is it PSV today. It is PSV. Uh, so chances are we're likely to qualify. But let's say we get beat off PSV. And Rangers beat Krasnodar. We're suddenly, we're out. We're not going through. And that brings us to the first game of today's episode, which is at home against Blackburn. And this is how we're going to line up. Jack Butlin in goal. Bella Kotchap, Onjean and Kerra in the defence with Dodo and Ender Stevens as our wing-backs. As Pellegrini is, of course, suspended. Uh, Jean-Pierre will not be playing in central midfield. He will be playing in Tatton midfield with Renato Sanchez and Danny Olmo in the centres of midfield. Erling Haaland and Sebastiano Esposito will lead the line. Isaac, a little bit unfortunate to drop out, but um, I want to give these boys even more game time, to be honest. Blackburn come at us with a cautious 4-4-2. Newly promoted, of course, doing incredibly well in the league, sitting in 10th currently. So they'll be very happy with how their season has gone. But you would expect a comfortable home win from us in this one. It is the 20th of um, November. The full game has been released. And this is the first game I'm playing since that point. Um... And it looks like the pitch is broken completely. I, I mean, I'm not seeing anything, football manager. I don't know what's happening. And we're back. It looks like it was a problem with the downloaded skin I was using. So I've had to revert back to the football manager default dark skin. Shouldn't change anything, hopefully. Highlight now, 40 minutes in. The first one we're able to see. And it's us currently in possession in the Blackpool, uh, Blackpool? Blackburn final third. Jean-Pierre picks up the ball in the centre of midfield. Dodo giving him a bit of options wide out right. So Renato Sanchez gets taken down there. But the player steers on with Dodo on his right hand side. He dances to the byline. Why is he shooting that? He's on the. He's literally on the byline. How are you getting that in? Just pull it back. 43 minutes in though. We have another highlight. Hopefully we'll be able to get a goal before half time here. Otherwise things won't be looking so good. And Dodo gets his strike with his left foot after an Esposito cross. And he manages to beat the keeper and find the back of the net to put Sheffield United 1-0 up on the 43rd minute. Very, very fortuitously um, getting there just before half-time. We needed that. I didn't want to go into the second half at 0-0 having to chase the game. And Dodo, excellent strike there with his weak foot. He's doing well. 
And that's half time. Sheffield United 1, Blackburn 0. No changes required at half time. Let's kick off for the second half. Danny Olmo with a free kick from the edge. He goes for goal. Just about hits the post. Another highlight now. Corner for us. Played in. Esposito strikes and hits the post as well after an Ender Stevens corner. And now oh, Blackburn can't break because Ender Stevens was offside. But close twice hitting the woodwork within a few minutes. Another free kick from us in the 59th minute. Jean-Pierre plays it in. Esposito gets his head on it. And he directs a goal with And there's nothing the keeper can do about that one. I didn't even really see it. It happened that fast. But we managed to put us in front. Two goals in front now. Jean-Pierre with the free kick here. Esposito just catches it on his head. Uses all the pace he can. And he manages to beat the keeper pretty easily to be honest with you. And there we are. 2-0 up. I'm happy with that. 65 minutes in now. We're going to get Haaland off. We're going to get Alexander Isaac on in his place. And we're also going to get Ender Stevens off for Luke Freeman on that left wing back roll just to keep him fresh. The game's dying out now in the final 10 minutes. Not a lot happening. Blackburn really not offering anything. Only four minutes of added time to play. Looks like it's just going to tick through and it has. Sheffield United 2, Blackburn 0. A decent win, a pretty comfortable win in the end. We didn't perform outstandingly but we did enough to obviously get the three points. It was a game where you would have expected us to do just as much. But um, next time at home against PSV, I don't think it will be so easy. We are both fighting pretty hard for qualification at the top of our Europa League groups. Uh, it looks like Rangers will probably be going through. Can't imagine them dropping points against Krasnodar like we did. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a tough one. And as you can see from the Premier League table, after that result, we do rise to second in the Premier League on 34 points, 7 points behind. Um, Liverpool in top but two points ahead of Arsenal and Manchester United in the other Champions League qualification places if the likes of Chelsea and Man City could just fall away and so we can guarantee a top four that would be mint so we're here for the PSV game unfortunately Jean-Pierre has picked up a knock and will not be available for today's game so Danny Olmo is going to play in his more natural position in behind the strikers we'll see if we can get even more out of him he's been performing well for me in central midfield Obviously, contributing five assists and one goal from centre midfield is pretty good. But um, I imagine if he was to play behind the striker, we'll get even more out of him. Oliver Norwood comes in in the centre of midfield place to replace um, Danny Olmo. Luca Pellegrini returns to the first eleven as well, as his suspension is only domestic. Let's get the kick-off. The come at us with a very strange formation, 4 triple 2 It's a little bit weird, but we can work with that. First highlight of the game, 20 minutes in, it's Oliver Norwood with a free kick. Uh, PSV defend it well and they can come away with the ball, but Norwood gets in behind Danny Olmo with a strike, goes just over. Another highlight now starts with us playing the ball about in the defence. No mistakes from the boys and thankfully we can create an attack ourselves. Pellegrini finds Esposito down the left wing, Jaron Zoyet with a decent save. We are, we are going to look to keep an eye on the league table because even... I don't want to just qualify. I want to finish top. I don't want to face any of the Champions League uh, teams coming out at the group stage. So ideally we win this game and finish top. Another highlight now. Bob played over the top and Haaland is in behind. He's only got the keeper to beat. Come on Haaland mate. You were brought in to be the man this season and he really hasn't been the man. Oliver Norwood with a free kick. The ball's played in. Bella Kotchap gets his head on it but it's gone just over the bar. Uh, apparently I've just missed a goal completely Marcus Rojo with an own goal in the PSV defence we'll have to see it on the replay here, see what actually happened it comes from a throw in on the left hand side by Pellegrini to Renato Sanchez who goes for goal and hits Marcus Rojo pretty unfortunately on his ass, and it goes in it's a good job as well because Rangers are winning in their game so they're on 12 points we're on 13 we need to maintain our win and run now and hopefully come out of this game with three points. Dodo goes past his man easily and goes for goal. He gets his fourth goal of the season from right wing back and puts us 2-0 up. And surely, surely now puts us in a pretty comfortable position to finish top of this group. It all comes from a switch from the left-hand side from Luca Pellegrini. Dodo brings it down well and absolutely does his man for pace. He left him for dead. He must be one of the slowest players on the game. Dodo's not particularly fast. Um, but there we are, 2-0. Another highlight now, another long ball played by Pellegrini down this left-hand side that Esposito brings under his control. He plays the ball in, it's cleared by PSV. The ball finds its way to Pellegrini once again on this left-hand side to, San to Renato Sanchez, back to Pellegrini. Renato Sanchez does two men now with a little dummy and plays Pellegrini in who finds Dodo. 
goes for the goes for goal and hits the bar and that's probably going to be end of highlight that would have been an absolute worldie of a goal and there we have it half time Sheffield United 2 PSV 0 in a pretty comfortable position PSV haven't really offered anything so far in this match um I'll need to keep an eye on their formation see if they actually change it because the 4 triple 2 is offering so much space out wide that we're just able to exploit them with our wing backs all game but Haaland now wins a header, tries to play through Danny Olmo and he does so after a bit of calamitous defending by Marcus Rojo. And Danny Olmo puts us 3-0 up with his second goal of the season. It's, it's a little bit silly how many times I see this exact situation happen. Defender has the ball, it's an underweighted pass and the attacker can just slide in there and beat the keeper pretty easily. But we've benefited this time so I'm happy about it 3-0. Another highlight now, free kick by us. Ends up in the back of the net, Jerome, Jerome Onjin getting the goal for us. I'm not even sure, it was Oliver Norwood with the free kick who manages to get the assist to his name. Another set-piece goal which the board will be happy about and that puts us 4-0 up, 50 minutes in. Another highlight now, Norwood with the free kick. This time the keeper manages to claim. Let's see where this goes. Bella Kotchap with a big ball over the top. Esposito brings it down. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper, Jerome Zord saves again. 58 minutes in, we'll look to make some changes. Pellegrini can come off for Ender Stevens. Dodo, who's done particularly well, can come off for George Baldock. Keep them both fresh for the league campaign that will be ensuing after this game. 68 minutes in now, there's another highlight, this time coming down the left-hand side with Pellegrini, Sanchez and Esposito has been the case this game. And George Baldock gets his first goal of the season after an Ender Stevens cross the wing-backs. Once again, combining the old faithful Ender Stevens and George Baldock. They have done a lot for us over the past couple of seasons and they combined again a day and put us 5-0 up. It's a decent cross by Stevens and a decent weak foot finish by Baldock and happy days. Only 10 minutes to go now. We will look to make our final sub of the game. We'll get John Fleck on uh, for Ronaldo Sanchez in the centre of midfield. And it looks like a draw might have been enough in today's game. Krasnodar have equalised against Rangers so that now they're only on 10 points whilst we're on 13. PSV, unless they're going to score six goals in this game and unlikely to qualify for this uh, for the knockout stages, Ender Stevens brings the ball down this left hand side, gets challenged by the defender, and the referee will consult VAR for the penalty. I'll see you in 10 minutes. And the referee has given the penalty, so there we are. Jonathan Tears, uh, Jordan Tears, sorry, bringing down Ender Stevens in the box. Harland is the one who's going to step up for the penalty, get himself a goal. <sighs> Harland, man. Haaland, Haaland, Haaland. I might, I might need to drop him longer term and bring on Alexander Isaac. I'm going to drop him now, <laughs> to be honest with you. Get him off. Get Isaac on. Oh, I can't make any more changes. <sighs> Why do you the three? Norwood with the corner. Played in. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to make that change now. Um, in my own mind's eye, my first 11 may need to just drop Haaland altogether for at least five or so games. Give Alexander Isaac the run out. He's been doing really well when he gets the game time. But Haaland scored a hat-trick earlier on in the season. And after that, he's pretty much not done a lot. I know he's, he's had a couple of niggling little injuries and stuff. But he hasn't done enough for me in the games. Again, another one-on-one -on -one miss there by Haaland. So I, I think Alexander Isaac deserves the starting spot. And that will be full-time. Sheffield United 5, PSV 0. Our most convincing win in the Europa League so far this season. We've done what we needed to do to qualify top of this group. And I couldn't be happier. We avoid the Champions League dropouts. We do actually qualify for the uh, knockouts. Rangers end up winning that game against Krasnodar. So it is a good job we won. Um, but there we have it. We have qualified top alongside Rangers in our group. And we will be progressing to the first knockout round. Looking forward to the next episode. It will be Southampton and Bournemouth at the end of December. Just before January. And of course episode after that will be a January transfer window one. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.